The Forgotten Experiment, Can Apes Learn to Speak Like Humans? What if I told you there was a man who dedicated his life to a question no one dared to ask? Can apes learn to talk like humans? This is the forgotten story of Dr. John L. Fuller, a pioneer who tried to bridge the gap between humans and our closest relatives in the animal kingdom. His work was groundbreaking, his methods controversial, his results mysterious, and yet today, hardly anyone remembers his name. Let's go back to the 1950s, a time when the race for scientific discovery was accelerating. The world was fascinated by the possibility of human-like intelligence in animals. It was during this time that Dr. Fuller, a young and ambitious psychologist, launched an experiment that would shock the scientific community. His subject was an infant chimpanzee named Lucy, but Lucy wasn't just any chimpanzee. She was raised as if she were human. Dr. Fuller brought Lucy into his home, dressed her in children's clothes, and taught her to use utensils, drink from a cup, and even sleep in a bed. But this wasn't enough. He wanted Lucy to speak. And so began one of the most controversial experiments in the history of animal research. Dr. Fuller believed that with enough exposure and training, Lucy could mimic human speech. He worked tirelessly, day and night, repeating words, sounds, and phrases, hoping she would one day form sentences. At first, there was progress. Lucy began to mimic simple sounds, and her vocalization started to resemble words. But then, something strange happened. Lucy didn't just imitate speech. She created her own gestures and sounds to communicate. Fuller was amazed. Could this be the foundation of a new language, or was Lucy simply adapting in ways no one could have predicted? As Lucy grew older, the experiment took a darker turn. Dr. Fuller's obsession with results became apparent. He pushed Lucy harder, isolating her from other chimpanzees to prevent distractions. Some began to question his ethics, wondering if he was harming Lucy in his quest for answers. Then, one day, Lucy did something extraordinary. During a session, Lucy made a sound that Fuller swore was the word mama. He was ecstatic, convinced this was the breakthrough he had been waiting for. But the scientific community was skeptical. Was it really speech or just a coincidence? Fuller's experiment continued for years, but his work faced mounting criticism. Some accused him of crossing moral boundaries, while others dismissed his results as inconclusive. Eventually, funding dried up, and the experiment came to an abrupt end. Lucy was sent to a wildlife sanctuary, where she struggled to adjust to life among other chimpanzees. She had spent so much time with humans that she no longer fit in with her own kind. Dr. Fuller, meanwhile, faded into obscurity, his work largely forgotten. But the questions he raised remain unanswered. Can apes truly learn human language? If not speech, could they develop their own forms of communication? And what does this tell us about the boundaries between humans and animals? Today, scientists continue to study the intelligence of great apes, using sign language, symbols, and even technology to unlock their potential. And while Fuller's methods may be outdated, his vision was ahead of its time. The story of Dr. Fuller and Lucy isn't just about science, it's about humanity. It forces us to confront uncomfortable questions. How far should we go in the name of discovery? And what happens when we try to reshape nature to fit our expectations? Lucy's life remains a cautionary tale, but it's also a reminder of the extraordinary connection between humans and animals. So what do you think? Were Dr. Fuller's methods visionary or were they a step too far? And could Lucy's story hold the key to understanding our own evolution?